Hey there, creepers and creepets. Welcome back to Games in the Attic, where we're playing something new, something different, something secret. We're playing Moons of Madness. It's me and Bizarrowitz, because we just escaped the underwater legions of freaking robotic doom from uh, Soma, and now we have been launched into space, and this is where we ended up. Our so, space adventures. What was that logo? Fun what? Funcom. Funcom. Let's go there. Rock Pocket. Uh, I think that's kind of uh, inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Famak! Famad! Yes, yeah, I just I just felt like the beginning of freaking uh, Laverne and Shirley startup right there. <laughs> yes, they are from Norway. Are they Norwegian? I believe they are. That's what Norway is. Alright. Adjust it! Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Just real, real good. good. <laughs> this title saves automatically. I don't think you have to read that. Do part. not turn off the device when you see this moon. So every time the game moons us, we have to do a thing. Now we gotta hit the new game. First things first. I wanna make sure <gasps> that our settings are right. Are our settings right? They will be. A. For all those playing the Games of the Attic Home Edition they picked up from their local liquor stores, please join me in the traditional Games of the Attic Nostrave. In other words, grab your booze, take a drink. Yeah, that, that, that's what it means. Hey, sometimes you gotta translate the creepy. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> all, right. all right, let's do this. Do okay. I'm excited. I know nothing about this. Same. I know, that's why I'm excited. <laughs> Because we're both going in blind. We're going to seem like fucking retarded mice. I mean, we can't, that's that's kind of how some will wound up being. Spay! But it was underwater. No, I'm, I'm saying we, we ran around like retarded blind mice. Oh, but we got here. Oh, oh, look, we got the blinky eyes. Art. Get out of bed. Wake up. Dude. Get out of bed. I feel like I have to press X to get out of bed every morning. <laughs> it's like I'm laying there, like, my head. and the X button's just floating around my my freaking like laying there in bed self. Like, Wake up call. Interesting way of doing things. We're in space, right? We're not under the water anymore. As far as I know, it looks the same to me. Yeah, funny how those two things can get confused. Oh, oh God! It's David Schwimmer. No, we left him behind. We're Shane now. I thought we were Simon. Oh, look. Power cord chewed. Ina is, is one, one of, your of your specimens. Loose. Interesting. <laughs> oh, somebody wiped poop all over the board in circles again. I see, I hate when they leave rings <laughs> they, they from their, their drinks. <laughs> they, they sit their coffee mugs down on the freaking yeah. projector. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This was, wait, 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 we should actually read that. What's going on with it? Pick up the fleshlight. Ew, gross. Oh, it's an A. Oh, flashlight. Got it. <laughs> I was thinking something completely, completely different. Completely different. Dude, by the way, I watched Chick fucking Wreck Shop on some song with the dildo. Like, on a guitar. Huh. It was a vibrating thing with the, like, the little, like, little twisty thing at the bottom. Uh -huh. You know, like, it's like the big one that does this. Right. Right, you gotta look at me. You, put, a, put a picture on the screen for the audience. And it's like this. The oh. big one does this. Well, that's not good. Oh, yeah. All right. Like those tentacles up there. Like, but it's like this. And then the little one's like this. <laughs> yeah, I know the one you're talking about. And uh, if it, I'll, I'll find the clip and I'll send it to you. Put it in the episode. Kind of, I, oh, broken. Okay. Oh. Evelyn got to space. This is Resident Evil 20. God. Look, there's the green herbs. You gotta grab them to heal. Won't let me grab the green herbs. Oh, they're playing. Oh. Well, that was tentacly. Tentacly? Is that word? Oh, no. I got the, I got the hiccup burst. Oh. 
Do I actually get weapons? <gasps> I get weapons! We got a crowbar! Yes, at the inventory. I feel like Marv! <laughs> I poured another shot already. Obviously. Well, this one is, is because I know that we dedicated the last playthrough, but fuck it! Talab Assistant Stitch! Talab Assistant Stitch! No, it's Thrave Stitch! Uh, I miss you, I love you. J doubly so. Yeah. Shit. It's okay. You know, fucking leave that one in. I was planning on it. That's why I said it's okay. Uh, it's okay. just not the same without her trying to stab me every other I know. episode. And, and, you know, she's all like, hey, I killed these hookers. You, you know, I need you to help me bury them in the Nevada desert. I'm like, Stitch, we live in Texas. It's like Nevada desert. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. oh, hey, look at that. Dude, I'm, I'm, first off, I want to say it's nice to not be underwater for the first time in like three, four, five games. Right? <laughs> it seems that me and you have been trapped underneath the water for like ever. Not to mention you and Dr. Jones. I know, dude. It's just. Oof. I mean, in the last time, I mean, Man and Badan, come on. Speaking of which, guys, get look look forward to fucking ha Man and Badan. <laughs> I, I almost said Hannah Badan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh! She just wanted a kiss. That's Lori from The Walking Dead. Oh, God. We're Shane. Oh, God. Did we just wake up? That was a dreamy meme 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 meme. Uh, readings, also, remember, you already released me, I'm Dan, at least started to. Standard procedure. New heart. You know what to do. If there's any critical damage. Oh, it would have been last episode, huh? Yeah. Probably. Uh, no problem. Dr. Van oh, you dropped shit on the floor. Look at you fucking shit up already. Oh look at this, aren't we handsome man? Aye aye, Captain. Switch to a private aye, aye. Yar. To stitches! I'm getting wasted this episode. Clearly. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that shot had an impact on me. My brain went retarded. <laughs> my, my, right. my brain went all... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will say this is nice. There's no glowing buttholes anywhere. You know... Kathy's not lying to us. I mean, she didn't really lie. She what told the us the truth every time. Dear Dad, I've already rewritten this letter six times. I'll probably write it several more. I have a lot of time before I actually can actually spend it. Send it to, or send it to you. You deserve. Oh, scratch that. Uh, I'll put it plain. I'm not. In Antarctica. I lied to you. I ran away to Honduras with my Mexican lover, Rahul. Um, wait, that's not what it says. Um, I went to Mars. Mars. Well, that expedition does not exist. I, 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 yes, that, when, when I don't read something, that means that like I let the audience continue reading. Yeah, I get it. Because I, I made up it, stuff I instead. I get it. I, I hope you can for for for, for, for Forgive me, the deception is not as slight. The company takes the secrecy very seriously. In fact, you will already probably have seen me again in person before I'm allowed to send this to you. I want you to hear it from me. I want you to know I love you. What I really want to tell you is, if you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Well, no, I'm sure you got to turn it over. No, there's no turning over. What if... No, 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 no. I it was mid sentence to go back, try harder. I try. Try harder! God damn it. See? No turning it over. X. Yeah, that's the same thing. And then... No, there's nothing well, else. Oh, damn. He still hasn't finished the letter. Oh, I get it. Now you get it. I was like, there's more to this letter. Lick the rock. I am not gonna lick the rock, creepy. Lick Dwayne Stop. the Rock Johnson from Dude. from toe to scrote. Dude, gross. <laughs> the rock, the rock's all dejected in the corner, like 
I don't think the rock wants to get licked by me. How do you know? Maybe, maybe you are the sexiest object the rock has ever seen. Maybe he's looking at you like, damn, I wish that boy would just lick me, but he'll probably never take, have the guts. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> yeah, but that's beside the point. Oh no, guess what I did? I poured another shot. I shouldn't have done that. Oh no. Okay, so it's not boo. Oh, well then try, um... Shit, I forgot what T is for numbers. <laughs> I was gonna put tits. <laughs> if it, uh... Yeah, there you go. 7175. There you go. <laughs> That's the one. Alright, um... Fine. All right, then let's try uh, hell. Hell's the only other one I know, so we're gonna go with four, three, seven, seven. No. Okay. Oh wait, I messed it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's seven, seven, three, four. You had to write it backwards because it's upside down. Damn it. <laughs> what was that code? By the way, if I ever make it like a horror game, best believe that. Like, 80085 is a password, and best believe it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Good luck out there, sport! Dad. Dad, you like... F oh, he found the password. So yeah, you should've. Good thing, you know, we're using video game amnesia to, like, solve yeah. these puzzles. It's not like you don't remember your password on your own. You had to hide in the back of your dad's fucking photo. You know, there are some so you like baseball, over. huh? American? There's... Sorry, what you were saying? There are some people just say, I can't remember the passcodes. Yeah, so I make all the passcodes the same. One, two, three, four. <laughs> then anybody, can, literally anybody can guess it creepy. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, if they know I'm an idiot, but the chance of you knowing that is the only means that you know me. And I only know, like, maybe, like, 0.001% of the human populace on this planet since I crash landed here? Yes, but you've also been recording, so a lot more people know that you're an idiot. No! I know exactly how many people know. 60! 60 people <laughs> know! That's how many subscribers I have! <laughs> and you know what? I'm sure no, that no, all you motherfuckers. more people know. Alright, 62 people know. Am, all right, my dog, 63. All right, and Josh, and Dr. Jordan. All right, 65. 65 people know. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure two of those. So 63 people know. <laughs> I'm good at math. <laughs> what are we doing? Are you reading All this? personnel, please be aware of the new security update that's taking place tomorrow. You might be stuck in your room for a while. Write down the code somewhere so you will remember it. They predicted it. the pandemic. They knew! These bastards knew! And they did nothing! They sent an email. Fucking pricks. They're like, I know that you're in space, so you probably won't catch coke. Oh. Uh, anyways. Good morning there, sport! Wilcox was kind enough to let you sleep in a little today. But that also means that Dr. Zayas Buren is lagging along on an EVA to the Carano landing site. So I'll put a pin on logging the issue with command until he's back. I know Lucas has been tinkering with some of the bio gauge code, so check with him first. Plus, you'll have a chance to catch up with the doctor. Make some small talk. Hey, Declan, can't find anything listed in for troubleshooting this solar rays coding. I've run diagnostics each time and nothing out of the ordinary. It's starting to become a daily thing. Time to file the issue with command, I think. Even if they can shoot me a workaround, it's better than constantly triggering auxiliary power. Shane. Oh, it was Declan, right? No, it's a Shane. No, it said, hey, Declan. Did I not say that? Eh, it's close <clears throat> enough. That's your turn. Dr. Newhart. Dr. Bob Newhart. <laughs> he sounds like a Bob. <laughs> there has been an update to your comprehensive NDA. 
Please log in at your earliest convenience. I'm not getting drunk in the background. This is only a courtesy. All changes have already gone into effect. Best regards, You say this CD is only a cutscene? Head of HR, Medicor. Bob Kelso. <laughs> Two thumbs. I, I say, I say... Did they say Manticore? Yes. I, I say Bob Newhart, but it's... He's running that to Shane Newhart. Now I'm scared Ninja Brian's gonna sneak up and stab me from behind. Ninja Brian always sneaks up and stabs you from behind. In my dreams. Yeah. Shit. Like, I'm ever important for Ninja Brian to sneak up behind and stab with a knife. If Ninja Brian sneaks up behind you and stabs you with a knife, it's not because you're important. It's just because you were there. Can, can we make Ninja Brian stab me with a knife on the screen right now? Can I... Can I be like, oh no! Ninja Brian, what are you doing there? Oh no! <laughs> you stab me, bro. You realize I'm not a miracle worker, right? You are? Yeah. I yeah, bet. I bet you're clever. Alright. The rule of two is an exciting concept. When we discover one example of phenomenon in the cosmos, it is an anomaly. Given the vastness of the... Oh, shit. My monster. I... Well, that's happening. Anyways, we discover one example phenomenon in the cosmos. It's a anomaly. Given the vastness of the universe, it, two examples uh, are found. And it implies... I'm soaking wet. Monster. It's tall. Monster it's in my again. raccoon ones. The monster got away again. Uh, it implies that... God damn my dramatic hand readings. I keep knocking the monster over. An anomaly. But all we have to do is find a second. Any life will do. Even primitive alien microbes. Even fossils of microbial life billions of years dead. That only finding will open it up universe. Leaming with life. Teeming. Teeming with life. All we have to do is get to Iowa. To. Iowa. To. Iowa. Yeah. Confirming my ID bypassed security from my room. Doors unlocked. Oh, wait, it meant two, not Iowa? Yes. Oh, so two, two. Two, two. I am soaked in monster. Can we go into a break? All right. We're right back. In fact, oh, I'm gonna get naked and do that freaking thing from Risky Business where I slide on my socks wearing sunglasses. I'm like, da 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 da. That might you might have to clip that part. You think? It didn't go red. Uh, we, I think we honestly had the microphone set better than we ever had it set. Because yeah. I'm looking at it, and when I go, da da da, da it goes yellow. That went red. No, no, it went yellow. No, I it didn't... went red. I saw it go red. Na, 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 na. No, it doesn't go red. It... All right, it did that time. It did before too. Well, maybe it's I... okay. I've got, I've got that part figured out because you. God, I have long. just wasted that two seconds. Oh, it's a rocket ship. Play the air. Oh my God, he's doing what I do. Oh, this is a special. Oh. Ew! Did that rocket ship just potty on the floor? Bad rocket ship. Bad. Excrementing freaking You do that outside. You do that outside, mister. Yeah, I put a shaky hand at the rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, it's your turn. Yes, it is. <clears throat> oh, I want you to read it as Zap Brannigan. I know I keep hitting you the future Futurama. Greetings, crewmate. As a member of the Invictus team and an employee of Manticore Orochi, there are security... More bravado! There are security protocols that you must fit, not fail to obey. Any Orochi facility... It's like a British brat, Zap Braddock. I'll give you props. <laughs> including this Mars base is sectioned by security clearance. Not every employee may go into every section. Your ID card and contains a number denoting your level of security clearance. 
Your ID card is necessary to access all doors, sectors, and computers of a given level of security clearance. Do not attempt to access areas or equipment beyond your security clearance. Do not attempt to coerce TJs to give you access to the security clearance. Do not! Give I'm sorry, I'm peeing myself a little on that. Access to out of bounds areas and equipment. Do immediately report any irregularity. <laughs> I like it, security <laughs> protocol to a witness dash security group dot com. Can I just pause and say that I appreciate the do? <laughs> <laughs> do not! Do not! Do not! Do! <laughs> <laughs> Given the weird. nature of the work at Manticore and Orochi, Maru, these protocols are in place to protect you from catastrophic mishaps and consequences. If you are unsure of your clearance or of these protocols, contact your superior. That was Back me. in ancient that Roman right. times! <laughs> Thank you for your vigilance. I got magic horse stuck in my head bad yeah, now from, yeah, the, right. from the sex party. Okay, in fact, every time it says magic horse, can we just throw like a clip of just the word magic horse, like from that song? Hey, wait, isn't that the guy you like that reviews the anime? Gigic? Gigic! Yeah, isn't that what it just said on the, the post? It said note? Lucas. No, it says Gigic. Oh. It says Lucas. Okay. He writes his name like a G. Yeah, well. No, I'm not saying like he's a gangster. Yeah, I'm saying he, write, like he writes G. the L like it is a G. There's so many post-it notes, dude. Cow on dark roast coffee. Low on dark roast coffee. God damn it, Lucas! Learn to write a fucking L! I like it. Do you like it? Oh my god. I was thinking of you last night when I drew it. And it made me come a little. But then I had to change my pants. And I just want to let you know. Oh my god. You're so cute. <laughs> oh, this is a man after my own heart. Chug. Consume! <laughs> Coffee. You know, this is, excuse me. A damn fine cup of coffee. Fuck yeah, insert item. No, 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 no. we're not done. You have to at least have three cups of that shit before you get out the door. Fine. I still have to push a button, creepy. It doesn't matter, this is how I operate. I need this much coffee every day before I start. I'm drinking Monster right now while I'm drinking alcohol. That's <laughs> alcohol. 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 <laughs> Look, he clipped that back and it makes me feel super creepy. It's slow motion in gray, black, and white. Alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> it's like, you know, like offering to a minor. <laughs> Would you like some Funyuns and some alcohol? <laughs> Child. Okay, that's three cups. <laughs> now shut up. We're moving on. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> like his eyes are bulging at his head now. <laughs> Right. Ready for my daily chores? Let's get this done! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Pop tarts! My favorite! Not an easy choice. Savory oatmeal. Or bacon and eggs. Oh, that's me, baby. Bacon and eggs all day. Ron Swanson, give it to me. Mm, consume! Oh, look at that. Whoa. Hey, so we stole our pit boy! Oh. You mean your pit boy? <laughs> Come on, Vault Tech's gonna get upset at you if you don't give him that branding. Ooh, what do we have here? In fact, if we go to a sponsor, we should introduce our new sponsors Vault Tech! Ah. Oh, it has Arashi. Uh, do, do, you, do you pronounce the CH as a sh? Orochi. Oh, Orochi. Uh, see, you're so much better at speaking in Japan than I am. Star Trek, dude. The Orochi Maru. Well, it's still a... That's a Japan name. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. But it's that... Uh, Orochi. Orochi. Letterhead. So it is official. Replacement photo ID. Pictures for your approval. Commander Wilcox. He's... <laughs> Cox. <laughs> Management. You clean up pretty nice. Delapore. Approved. 
I will start taking the like, reading documents more seriously. Okay. So, so the people can actually hear the autistic talents of my voice. Because I've been really underselling myself real hard since yeah. the beginning of the show. It See, that's the thing is I have this joke about me being an underdog, but I'm actually kind of decent at some things. Voices being one of them. I got glory and stuck in my now. Let the encouragement sink in! <laughs> to the lab! To the lab! This is where we grow all our hydroponic weed. It's top shelf. Now, I know we got some Luke Skywalker OG Kush. We got some friggin' Sour Diesel Lemon. We got some Tangerine Queen. We got some Blue Dream. What are you looking for, bro? Here at the Space Dispensary, we got all of your medicinal herbal needs. I was working in the lab late one uh -oh. night. I feel that we're gonna like jettison ourselves into freaking like a Half Life Two. <laughs> then look at that crowbar. Tell me, tell me it's not a, a, a Half Life inspired crowbar. That's that's fair. Hey, we're in the greenhouse. As I was saying, we have all the herbal medicine that we'll need. We that just left the with. greenhouse, creepy. Oh, well, back there are the all the herbal <laughs> medicinal needs that you can need. Do you have a sickness? Oh, you sneeze occasionally. Well, guess what? I can write you a prescription for marijuana. This game, that creepy kid, cannot write any prescriptions for anybody ever. Yet. Ever. No. Yet. Space Pump Productions has goals. <laughs> Achievements to unlock. You know, it's like achievements. They're like the things that you do when you do something in a game, but in real life. Right, right. You know, I think that people would be more inclined to do stuff in the real world if, like, a little achievement thing popped up in like, their vision, like, in the corner of their vision, like, every time they did something. It's like, you took a shit! Bloop! Achievement unlocked. <laughs> It's like you filled in a job application. Bloop. It should be a lot. You filled out ten thousand a job. Bloop. Obviously, nobody wants to hire you. Achievement unlocked. Bloop. Is it the sound it makes? Bloop. Something like that. What's the achievement sound? Look at that green screen. <gasps> oh wait, no, 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 no! This is an opportunity. Bizarre wits, turn around. Uh. Stand in front of that green screen. Now we're in tropical Hawaii! Oh, can no, no, can no, I always no, get the lights on first? I guess. Yeesh. Hey, it's an iPod mini. I think that's my oh, dude, is. all that's downloaded in this thing is Rick Asley. <laughs> never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and hurt you. Never gonna make you cry. All right, that's Never gonna say goodbye. Ow, don't hurt me. <laughs> Do you really want to hurt me? It's the meaning of that song. <laughs> it's on you, bro. It's on you. See now, this pit boy, I get behind. Look at it. It's sleek. It's aerodynamic. Oh, Obviously, it's designed by Apple. You know, by Bill Gates, that one guy that stole everything from everyone. Yeah. But you know what? Honestly, like, Bill Gates is... Like, people used to talk shit. You know, on all the bad shit he did. My dad included. And you know what my defense is? Dude, that dude is a G thief from Dungeons & Dragons. That dude is living the nimble life. Well, you know that it's not just Bill Gates that did that, right? Well, yeah, no, 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 I know all the personal stories Bill Gates did. Yeah, that's true. Like, he took a girl out on a date for a freaking up-and-coming co company and wrote down everything, asked her every question technically about our company, and then gutted her. Gutted her. Jeez. Like, took her entire company, her software ideas, all of it. Bill Gates is a cautionary like tale for those who don't want to live the thug life and be G's. What are we doing? Oh, is that a Venus fly trap? Alright, yes. no, 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 no. Shout out to my boy, Clunatic. You know, if y'all if y'all don't watch Clunatic, watch the Clunatic videos. It's spelled K-L-U-N-A. 
There. Type yeah. that into Google search bar. Oh my god, we're in space! Now we're... <laughs> no shit, we're in space. <laughs> hey, we're in Hawaii! <laughs> okay, that's better. And now, look, it's me and Bizarro, it's murdering a bunch of people! Oh wait, we shouldn't be using that one. Switch to the next yeah, one, yeah, switch yeah, to the yeah, next yeah, one. Next one, next one. Alright, and... Oh, dude, I love this cartoon. <laughs> dude, you actually thought to put this in here? Duh. You really do know me. Uh-huh. I'm gonna cry. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Moving on. You better keep that green skin growing the dirty when you're looking away from it so that it's, like, still there in bits. Uh, it's, oh, fuck, it's my turn. Right? I don't remember. Fuck it! Fade in! Intergalactic Antarctic. Outpost. Interior. Intergalactic Arctic. <laughs> Dan, no, you ruined it. At least when I had Intergalactic, I knew what I was going with. Just keep going. It's cool. Interior Antarctic Outpost. Z-17 Day 7000 of the Zombie Infestation. Antarctic Outpost. Engineering area near a window overlooking any icy and clear sky. The team is standing. I mean, they could be laying down, but they're not lazy. They're legit. They're about it. They're ready to fucking fuck some shit up. You know what I'm saying, bro? Anyway, team, greetings from the South Pole. We have infiltrated the Antarctic region and realized that Santa Claus is actually at the North Pole. And then we have completely miscalculated our freaking attack advance. Steal all the toys and fucking goodies from all the good boys and girls. So instead, now we're down here in South House with an icy breath. Uh, eh. <laughs> Get the, the ladder. Uh, don't, don't move it. Area overlooking several ice flows where penguins splash among the waves. Delport is nearly near the water, taking in the beautiful scenery. Delport, as you can see, it's penguin mating season and this shit is hot. I mean, have you seen some of these fucking mating rituals from these penguins? That shit gets me fucking rock hard. I mean, I'm standing at a full fucking 10 mass. I mean, brr! <laughs> but as you can see, our is. Padded in Antarctic superconductive coils burrow deep into the pools, which turns the penguins on and makes them super really rock hard. I Creepy. Mean, Creepy. I mean, constant steady ice flows even during these hot summer months. And I mean, they are hot. I mean, look at this. Creepy. Fucking... Penguin sex is hot. All right. All right, full disclosure. I can't back this up. I've never actually seen two penguins fuck. But I've seen their mating rituals where the one penguin's all like, wah. And the other penguin's like, wah. And the other penguin's like, wah. It's all like, I got a heated jacuzzi. And that bitch is all like, ba 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 All right. Nothing is what? What did your... Nothing scanned. Nothing done. Oh, that's a that's a note for you to read. Nah, it's okay. I think there's a lot of stuff here. <sighs> well, let's unlock the regions. That's what I'm trying to do. We gotta find the mermaid so we can kiss the girl and break the spell. That, Creepy, that we that are evil not Ursula. underwater. <gasps> this right, we're in space. <laughs> I know you're accustomed to it, but Jesus. You know, I am looking forward to the first Resident Evil game that takes place in, in space. Uh huh. I'm burping right now because I've been drinking. Excuse me. Go um, to the solar panel site. Okay. Lick the solar panel site. I'm not gonna lick. Stick lick. phallus in inner solar sand sand blah, 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 point. <laughs> Why do you keep trying to get give me my dick and things? Put your dick in it. Tell me if it works. Dude, rule number one of surviving a sci-fi movie, don't put your dick in it. I'll say we go back to the greenhouse, smoke some herbs, relax, chill, wait for like... What are we doing? Going to the solar array. But why? Because it's malfunctioning and we're trying to get to work. Oh yeah, because we'll die. Yeah. I, you know, I, I really do... First off, game designers, this right here, what you're looking at on the floor... Where it says airlock this way and this, that. That's a fucking solid plan. Right fucking what direction things are on the floor. I mean, I know that makes us feel stupid and pandered to. But, 
hey, we're not going to spend an hour and a half in a Let's Play not making any part. Not like that's ever happened before in our previous playthroughs. But, um, creepy. <laughs> it's like, I already feel like the 40 hours later, like, has panned back to us. We've been lost. I'm so tired. Why is this happening to us? Why did this happen to me? Oh god, dude. That was the story of, by the way, I, I know that you weren't there playing Fortnite. My controller died yeah, while playing during the fucking final. No, no, this is the third day time we were at work. Oh, okay. Um, you know, because it's something AI super intelligence is doing, they go get jobs. And are better than human beings in every possible way. You're better than human beings in every possible way, Bizarrowitz. You are the uh, evolution of the future. Please don't melt me. <laughs> Keep it up with the penguin sex and I will. But I mean, have you ever actually seen a penguin having sex? No, and I'm okay with that. No, you don't know until you tried it. Oh, wow. We're like not in space. We're on a planet. Yeah. Dude, check out our Pip Out ride! Oh, welcome to MTV's new episode of MTV Cribs! Space Journey! Ba -da -da, da -da -da. The, the air horn thing. Don't you mean Pimp My Ride? No, they got the house thing, right? They yeah, really... they have MTV Cribs? Yes, but we're going in, like, a vehicle. Alright, well then this is Pimp My Ride with Exhibit! Exhibitionist, the rapper. <laughs> exhibit, exhibit. I can't stop calling him exhibitionist. Yes, I know. It's the best rap name ever. Jesus. I don't know. I, he's not the best rap, rap name ever. I came up with the best rap name ever. Hear me out. Rap right. name. <laughs> Drug dealer. Ow, I can heard that on the recording. The face popping was strong. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, it zoomed out. Look at that. Tell me, tell me if he, if he wasn't like a, you know, one of them preteen, 13 year olds is trying to find themselves and you're listening to rap music because you feel it's going to make you a, I'm going to be a unique individual because I listen to this rap musician when nobody else does. And, and you hear, and you, you can see drug dealer. On the, on the record steal. Like, kid, I'm gonna have to drop a whole fucking drug dealer fucking album cover that matches the awesomeness that is Big Bear doing things. <laughs> but, so imagine lots of pot leaves and lots of diamonds and sunglasses and the two scoops Raisin Sun from the, um, what's that cereal? Raisin Bran? That's the one! <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Still driving the RCAP. It's my RCAP, though. It says so on the screen right there. It says, my RCAP rover, not yours. That's that's the... Inter the oh, it's a Meerkat! Interface. <laughs> oh, Meerkat. Oh. It's funny. I just thought back to a freaking joke from 2005. Me and freaking Rasta... And Jim and I'll ever watch it, uh... <clears throat> the Bro, Magic Mountain. That wasn't 2005. 2009. Mm. Yes, that's Between funny. 2005 and 2009, I watched a movie called The Magic Mountain that my friend Rasta made me watch. Rasta, if you're watching, fuck you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I see you laughing. And he was like, it was a bunch of skinned animals, like, being like... Carried by small other animals. He's like, hey, this week I'm Meerkat Cat Manor. Oh, God. <laughs> and I died. That fucking I'm, sounds like Rasta. <laughs> just, God, if, you, if you've if ever seen The Magic Mountain, you feel me? If you haven't seen The Magic Mountain, don't. Yeah. I mean, you can. I mean, for scientific curiosity. So, God damn it, I can't keep this earbud in my fucking ear. It's driving me insane. But... Watch the movie and enjoy people huffing their own feces. Enjoy Jupiter and Saturn gods getting high off shit. Enjoy watching people play an organ 
made of cats being tortured. <laughs> Rasta, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? It was a... Dude, you know what? Honestly, I take this back. If you haven't seen Magic Mountain and you know nothing about the movie, Magic Mountain... Which Go they, watch that he, shit. They know about it now. Well, yeah, but I mean, if you're paying attention to the fucking episode, maybe. But go check that shit out. Trust me. Once. You don't have to ever watch it again. Because you'll never forget any second of that movie once you've watched it. But it gives the biggest, like, middle finger fuck. You can't, can't get some middle fingers joining me in on this. Ah, like, from all edges of the screen. <laughs> It gives the biggest fuck you out of any movie I've ever seen in my life. And you know what? It owns it. It's like, it owns that shit. It's like, yeah, I made you watch an hour and a half of this shit. Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) But every time I hear the title of it, I just, I I think, Magic Mountain, Charlie. Let's go to the Magic Mountain, Charlie. We're not going to see your candies. Spoiler alert, they steal Charlie's kidneys. What are we doing? We are We're aligning in... the satellites because you haven't been paying attention this entire time. I've been having fun with the audience. I know. You've been doing the, the game part, and, and they've been enjoying that, and they thank you for that. Audience, thank him in the comments. Well, you know. No, no, fuck you. You fucking think him in the comments. He's doing a lot of hard work here. He may be at the controls of the game, but he's also editing these episodes, so... You show some respect. Shaking finger at the screen. Can you shake the finger? Shake it harder. Yes. Harder. Fine, damn it. <laughs> the finger exploded. <laughs> That's funny. You're funny. <laughs> Alright, so, um, last time on Red Planet, we found this little Orby guy. He's got little slime things. He wants to come with these. He's like, Zoom! Oh, God. I showed you that, right? I yeah, showed you Red Planet. Show me Red Planet. Can we finish watching Red Planet after this? Is taking power cells from my solar array. Declan, <gasps> who is out here Fucking like- thief. Probably Lucas. It's Aladdin. I'm sure it's Aladdin. It's like he's a straight rat ahead of the net. Nah, nah. Never met a normal botanist. Well, that's a fair point. Yeah. There is no such thing as a normal botanist. Being a botanist, I would know. Yeah, no, they they kind of you know, are, but I'm sure already you should never much. let somebody that's a botanist become a virologist because then you have chaos. Yeah. I would know. Speaking of which, have you seen my new invention? Oh, god damn it. I combined Audrey 2 with the T virus, and now I have Plant Audrey 2. It's like Plant 42, but it's not as clever. It's like well, basically, imagine the Plant 42 fight from Resident Evil 2, mm-hmm. but singing is a musical. You know, Plant's all trying to kill Jill Valentine, right. it's all singing, and. What are we doing again? Again, we are still trying to line up the satellite dishes. Lushi- Lucigen. It's not what? a bad company name. Lucigen, yes. Lucigen Class Common. Command. Command. Common. <laughs> Console? Am I am I distracting you? Am I distracting no. you? Is no. this me distracting you? Am I distracting it? One, two, seven, four, thirty-seven, third, you left. You're literally not G- distracting me. Like R- I, all, all I have to do is adjust this. Well, that's all I have to do is adjust my net sack to make it stop itching. But you know, here we are <laughs> making an episode, all because. Of... You know what? I'll take it back. I like this ochre planet. <laughs> Lucas, you sound like you have been smoking too much weed to be in this video game. It is required that everyone downloads this program. Like, oh my god, do you know how much I love tacos? I was thinking to get some Taco Bell, and oh my god, like, get some Baja Blast, or some of those deep fried freaking cheesecake chimneys, you know what I'm saying, bro? That's what that dude sounds like. <laughs> No, no, not me. That's what you sound like. Eh, it's a little bit what you sound like, too. Well, yeah, because I'm doing an impersonation of that guy. I mean, it's what I... you usually sound like. I don't... Saying. First off, when the fuck have I ever asked to order Taco Bell? No. There was there one time I wanted to go there. And you know what? 
Then you were like, Taco Bell's been dead for 15 years? <laughs> Creepy. Uh-huh. If I just put that, me yeah, saying yeah, that yeah, there yeah, over I that it, one. It, 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 it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I know, we're on the same page like that. Dude, I think we're on a lost planet. In fact, are we playing the game we're Lost on Planet? Mars. No, we're not playing Lost Planet. Oh, dude, watch out. I've played Doom. I know it's on Mars. We're going to find the Pink Demons and the Revenants and the Spider Mines. First of the Spider Mines, whoever designed them, mad love. Spider Mines are one of my favorite fucking monsters in any video game ever. In fact, I'd be hard pressed if I ever played a cyberpunk game that didn't have cyber, cyber demons in it. I mean... Even though the, they're two different things and two for different worlds, I think that spider mind aliens and friggin', you know, robot suits that have four legs is kind of fucking... Well, it's wicked awesome, bro. To, to quote the, the college bros. What are they called? Pledges? <laughs> Initiates? I don't, I don't know. Hey, look, we're on Mars! Yeah! With that one hit, hot chick from the faculty movie! Oh, God. This is not Ghost of Mars, creepy. First off, that movie is bad fucking ass. I never said it was a bad thing. I'm just I don't care. Not you know, fuck Mars. you. Fight me in the comments. Ghost of Mars. That movie's badass. Right? Why are you getting all aggressive, man? I don't know. Because I feel that people don't appreciate the movie Ghost of Mars with Ice T or Ice Cube. I get them mixed up. I was going to say it's Ice Cube. And Stugly from the faculty. And, uh... I don't remember any of the characters in the movie, but just screw it. It's a good movie. Dude, that heart rate is ridiculously high. What, are we on amphetamines? No, but we've been running for a while. Dude, I don't know about you, but you're... You will just fall over. Mm. You know what's a better Mars game? Mm. That one where you're on Mars with the deterioration ray? Ah. Uh, what's it called? I don't know. Ah. Shit, that one. Whatever you put on the screen, that's, the, that's what it's called. Here we go. Well, sorry, I keep trying to pull up the name for it, but all it keeps popping in my face is Mass Effect. And I know that's not it. <laughs> it's Mass like I, the word gorilla in the title. Yeah, Red yeah. Faction. Oh, that one. Okay. Ha! See, I knew I'd think about it long enough if I thought about it long enough. You know, I haven't seen much madness on this Mars here. Or any moons, for that clear. matter. Where is the madness? Where are my moons? We've, we've literally just started, Creepy. Don't edit no butt chicks on the screen. That's lowbrow comedy. We can do better. You're literally the one who said you were going to do it. No, I said don't do it. <laughs> I know. I'm not going to do it. You said you were going to do it. We'll see in the editing what happened. I can move, sucker. Let me see what you got. Uh, Martian Eagle, bitch. Better recognize. Don't fucking call me the wrong name. I'll fucking cut you. Zelda, what are you doing? Oh, look, it's a badger. A, a, Mar a Martian badger? The vehicle is called a badger. Oh. I was about to get really excited because I wanted to see a Martian badger. Of course you did. Well, yeah! Who the fuck doesn't want to see a Martian badger? That's way cooler than what the fuck's happening on the screen right now. What do we got? You haven't been paying attention to what's happening on the screen. Uh, no, what? I've seen a bunch of dirt and rocks and wheels. Dude, it's Mars. And oh! Oh god, we got infected with Lost Plagas. No, I, 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 I took off the helmet before changing the atmosphere. That's on me. That's on me. <laughs> and next time our game's in the attic, we'll find out what happens when we reach out of this. And maybe it'll be something fucking scary. They're gonna build up to it. That's all. Well, yeah, saying. I mean, I know, but we gotta fill up our air. And do all... Next time our game's keep it creepy. Bye. I have scoured 
every single data file on Commander Lewis's personal drive, this is officially the least disco song she owns. Good dog.